Hey everyone, I'm not hateable, and welcome to my first actual anime review of hopefully many more to come. AKA, I can never let anyone I know in real life know about this channel. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing Lucky Star, or the politically correct way of saying it, Lucky Star Star. Lucky Star Symbol Star. Lucky Star Squared. Y'all get the picture. And I don't really have a segue and talk about the review part, so I guess we'll start with the plot. Now, the first thing you get to know about the plot is that there really isn't a plot. Well, I mean, there's a plot in each of the episodes. The episodes do go in order of one another, but it's not as story-heavy as other animes like Angel Beats or Attack on Titan. The best way I can describe it as episodes of Whose Line Is It Anyway, where they refer to stuff that happened earlier in the show, but also refer back to earlier episodes as well. But as far as the story goes, it revolves around a high school girl named Kanata Izumi, a lazy yet athletic girl whose life revolves around video games and manga. Her friends, who are also high schoolers, are Kagami Hiragi, a rather bold, stern girl who likes to talk down on Kanata for not studying, Kagami's twin sister, Tsukasa Hiragi, a shy, timid girl that's very forgetful and has all the little sister characteristics, and Miyuki Takara, a smart, pretty girl that everyone looks to for advice. Kanata is very jealous of her, including her weaknesses that she says are complete turn-ons. Each episode has the same format, either the girls are talking about something or attending some sort of event. Nine times out of ten, whenever the girls are talking about something, you usually learn a tidbit about Japanese culture. Or at least I did, since I don't really know much about Japanese culture. And there are other characters in the show too, and you see all of them in the opening credits in episode one. However, most of them don't really have any character development or even appear until the later half of the series. At the end of each episode, there's a segment called Lucky Channel, which is like a television show for the television show Lucky Star. That's pretty meta. And Lucky Channel is hosted by Akira Kagami, a teen sensational idol that has a pretty wicked personality if you get on her bad side. And she's joined by her assistant, Minoru Shiraishi, a rather timid fellow with random bursts of courageousness. And Lucky Channel follows the same formula as Lucky Star, where just random stuff happens. If you have no idea what to expect going into Lucky Star, it can be really hard to follow. The only experience I had before jumping to this anime were random videos back from, like, maybe 2009. But once you understand this is a comedy rather than a serious anime with a deep plot, it can be easier to follow the flow of the episodes and enjoy it for what it's really worth. However, even with this in mind, it'll still be kind of difficult to follow the pacing of the first episode. At least for me. So with all of this, I give the plot a 6 out of 10. Next up is the animation, which I find to be fantastic. It fits the whole cutesy high school girl theme going for it with its simplistic style and over-exaggeration on facial expression. There are times where the animation can go to extremes, such as 3D models for video games, or extremely hyper-action animation with the manga store employees. However, there are times where the animators get a little lazy and draw outlines of background people instead of actual people in the background. And there are times where they actually do draw the background people, so it's kind of like topsy-turvy like that. But that's just a nitpick. Overall, the animation is simple and cute enough to bring home that extra push in the comedy department. 9 out of 10. Next is the art style, and it's pretty much just like the animation. The art style is cute and simplistic to match the whole high school girl is going on average adventures thing it has going for it. And each character looks exactly like their personality portrays them as, and even the side characters as well. Pretty much what I said about the animation holds true for the art style as well, so I'm giving that a 10 out of 10. As far as entertainment goes, the show is very entertaining. Pretty much every scene made me laugh in some way from each episode I watched. There are a lot of references to other animes and video games, so if you're an otaku like Kanata, you'll likely get these references. And then every character has their own unique personality, and whenever they clash heads, it makes things even more enjoyable. This is a show I would either binge watch or watch in between your other serious animes or shows or whatnot, or if you need to take a break from your homework, because my goodness does this show remind you to do their homework. Pretty much most of the enjoyment comes from the character interactions of one another, since that is what 95% of the show is and I bet you can find at least one character you like. For me, I'd say I like Sakasa the most. She's like an 8-year-old kid trapped in a 17-year-old's body, and I just find that incredibly... Mo? Mo? Moe? M-O-E. Who wrote this script? Oh wait, I did. However, there is one thing I have to dock a point for, and that's the soundtrack. Now, I really like it. It reminds me a lot like Animal Crossing, and I'm a big fan of Animal Crossing. But at the same time, you hear the same songs over and over and over again, even in the same episode, really. I mean, if you notice it, it can get really annoying, especially for me, because, like, when I kept hearing the same songs over and over and over again, I was just like, ugh, can you play something different, please? 
So for that, I have to give the entertainment a 9 out of 10. It's still hilarious, but just that one little detail is just... I'm not a big fan of. So thank you all for watching. Hopefully I did a good job, and if you think I did, please be sure to hit that like button, because that means you like the video. Also, if you want to suggest more animes for me to watch, feel free to, because I'm just now starting to get into this stuff, and I really don't have any idea where to go from here. So I'll see you all next week, hopefully, if my laptop hasn't finally died by